The universe is a self-regulating and self-sustaining organism which is in a continuous process of growth, differentiation and complexification. If anything is to be wondered at and even worshipped, it is the universe of which we humans and our earth are our minute but still perhaps useful part. Our task is to be the means for enabling the universe gradually to become aware. We are a point of view on the universe, a possibility of the u universe reflecting itself in us. This idea will change how we u view the universe and how, in some sense, the universe will view us. Though each human is ephemeral, transitory, the evolutionary process of life of which we form part is inseparable from the total reality in which it is taking place. Human life may be only one terminable experiment in the universal organism, but that humanity exists that life exists here shows that there can be this kind of development within the system of the universe. Cotemporaneous developments or parallel developments separated in time, different phases in the development of the universe. The attitude should not be reverent, unquestioning or but a desire to know more fully and understand better, driven in some sense by love of the universal organism. Much as if we love somebody, we want to know them and understand them as completely as possible. There is an even stronger motive, since we are a part of what we are seeking to know and understand. We should love the universe as that from which we and all life have sprung and in which we exist. It is not strange to say that we should love the universe. If we consider what love is for another human being, for a countryside, for a piece of music, for a nation, it is the remodeling of our brain, of our mind, to accord most fully with what we love, so that it becomes a part of our organization, a picturing with a, within us of what it is, whatever it is we love. As a part of our organization, at every moment what we love is the context in which we live and function that guides our actions and our aspirations. Our emotions are part of the universe as are our rational minds. Love is something that the universe makes possible. Everything that we are and know comes to us from the universe as it is. We are not opposed to nature, separated from total existence, any more than the fish is separated from the water in which it swims, or the bird from the air in which it flies. Science is wonder and desire to know what this is in which we find ourselves. Religion has been an attempt to understand. The universe as organism unites science and the longing which religions have sought to satisfy.